Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords, and what I assume is going to be take three of the battle for Selbitz. Take one was yesterday's last you know, episode where we attempted to do it, and then we, uh, we got a town raid that wanted to uh, take over Gimli. And two, I had just recorded this, and I'll explain later what I did, but it failed miserably, so I had to start over. I'll explain that in a little bit. But these are the the Samwise Polearm Militia, uh, Polearmsmen, who took the only casualties last time. And so we were close enough to Samwise to send them back home again. And last episode, I'm pretty sure it was, I made a point of mentioning that it's good to have replacement troops. A replacement, uh, well, yeah, troops, 14, but replacement weapons and armor and everything in place. So that, does this show armor? It doesn't. It does show crossbows, though. Huh. And what do you think that is? That's a spear. This is, I don't know. Almost, what What are the, uh, not trebuchets, what are the the uh, automated weapons that, that fire off the spears? Versus the one that catapults the stone. That's what that makes me think of right there. Anyway, by having folks and weapons available, I should be able to disband these guys. And that was 32. Now it's turned to 36 because we already have the ability to rearm them. Uh, that was a disband, so let's reband. <laughs> right there. And our 36 refreshed and replaced pull armsmen are on their way. Okay, so let's head over here real quick to what should be the battlefield somewhere in this area. And let's grab them again. Turn off run, turn on balance. And guys, just kind of pop in here. Come here. We'll keep you at more of a single file okay you guys make the run i'm going to reposition all these guys but what i did last time i had everybody in place and ready to go and i pulled back i can't click away i chose him and i sent a little shade his way and i didn't really read it declares surprise war your time has come now when we started this series one of the settings that I chose was to not allow him to just attack us, but to make him wait until we were ready so that I could spend more time town building and make a nice series out of it. And I think this cancels that. It basically says, okay, we're ready. But declares a surprise war. I didn't notice that part. Um, so the negative 100 has to do with relationship. 500... Influence, I guess that would be the 500 there. So I pop that into there, hit send, and it declared war. And then it just sat here and nothing happened. I could no longer choose this claim with influence. It was grayed out. And we just kind of sat here and waited and waited. And no troops ever showed up. And I don't know what was supposed to happen there. It just kind of didn't. So this time I'm going to not do that. <laughs> it may be that if I just sat back and waited for a long time to send all my troops home, they would have eventually attacked one of our provinces and we would have been battling out like, uh, like half what Brett did a few episodes ago where the Baron attacked one of his. But that's not the plan here. So we are running. Let's grab, say, you guys. I was going to use this hillside over here. That's where I was setting up last time. But I got to looking around, well, last in take two and realized this is actually a really good place to command. So let's do this. We're going to go slightly down the hillside. So there. And there'll be a lot of these things happening. So right there. And where is the other one? Um, this one? No, this one. You're also going to be in here somewhere. Okay. So you guys are there. The archers could fall back uphill of it. And I hope, I think, they can shoot over the top and down onto whoever's coming. But for right now, I want the archers. Let's see. It's you guys out here in front. So you guys head into here, something like that. And you guys, something like that. 
And what I noticed with the archers, there's something going on here. It's fixable, but it's annoying. This, that's, that's not it. You were archers, archers, here you are. These guys are not catching up with their, their symbol. So every time I reposition them, even though they're moving forward, they've got to go chase this for a while. It's just like there's troops here and there's troops over here, and this is in between them, but there actually is are no troops over here. So this has to catch up somehow, which is really kind of odd. It took about five minutes for that to finally get done, but I can choose you guys and say go here. They won't go there. They've got to go find that middle point, which is right about here. And when they finally get there, then they can start moving to the new location. So it's it's a little frustrating. It it does iron itself out. I was able to do that. But let's... Where am I going here? You guys are kind of dropping into... I don't know, there somewhere. You guys are spearsmen. Now, if we focus the main battle right here, and I'm not sure that's going to happen. It depends on where the game chooses to put the battlefield. I have no idea where it's, it's going to be. But when his troops come in usually we saw that that last big battle with him when we were fighting for this region and none of us got it um that the archers will peel off and go around and then start hitting you from from the side so i think this time i want to have spearsmen which have shields so that should make them the best match against archers to be off to one side or another so you are there, and the other archers can be over here. Actually, maybe more like here. They're going to head to whatever is the weakest, closest group. So if I have you guys say over here, then everybody's just going to go and attack them. I want these guys to be attacked. It may or may not happen, but that's, that's the goal. We'll reposition as we go to make sure that happens. But let's get spearsmen on each side to be able to go after those archers when they do come in. We'll set them to run and just dive right into them and, and take them out. So that they you know, have less opportunity to do a lot of damage. Last time they sat there and just pummeled us through most of the war. And I, I just didn't deal with them fast enough. Pull arms, I'm thinking you guys would be great backup for this kind of, you know, for helping these guys in the main fight. So let's do you there. And Samwise, when you come in, let's do you there. And I guess let's start setting everybody to balanced and no run. Balanced. Although archers I do want to set to run. Right there. Right there. Um, I could set you guys. This is Samwise. Right there. I could set you guys to run for a while. If I remember to turn you back off just to kind of get you over here a bit. Um, Samwise has a full granary over there. That probably has to do with berries. Um, you are set to run and set to balanced and set to shoot at will you as well and you are balanced and you are balanced okay and samwise pull arms we are fatigue of four so we'll let you go a little bit further until your fatigue uh, comes down a bit you are kind of getting there let's set you guys for here now and now they're going to go back and chase this a little bit but each time I, I've noticed before is each time I do that, this gap gets smaller and smaller. And eventually, it does catch up to them and it lands on top of them just like this. But before last time in take two, I had them sitting right there. This was still sitting over here and not moving anymore. So I had to bounce them all over the place till it finally caught up. So I think we're almost in working condition. Whoa, that was wild. I didn't do anything. I just yeah so you're heading over here you're heading over here you're going there the other ones are on their way and i think that pretty much covers everyone um are you creeping still you are still creeping okay it should eventually catch up there is a merchant wondering okay what am i getting into here uh, -uh. okay let's go see what's happening in the three towns that we're still having to run through all of this and I notice whenever the game restarts, we pretty much restock all the berries. So if you want more berries, I guess just keep restarting. Take it all down to two or three and restart the game. That must be a thing. Um, you are okay. We've got one, two, and none. Where are you? There is another square here. There you are. Three. So we have three in here doing this. 
I suppose that's fine. I wanted to see if these guys are ready to go to level three and they're not. Okay. It was Sam Wise that was having the trouble. So you are full. Let's upgrade you. And tannery. Tannery. Tannery leather hides. I think we're fine in leather for the moment. You're running. You are running. And the third one is there. You don't have somebody in. You're at 40 of 50, 35 of 50, and 17 of 50. I think you'll be okay. And over here, spin around. We wanted to check out these two from last time. And they're still not moved into. But I realized in between episodes, or while I was editing, that there are more actual plots over here that are heavily, you know, vegetabled. So, like this guy over here. So, you could very well be a level 3. You qualify for what we're trying to do. So, you do that. And you are as well. So, eh? Wow. We're hurting on coins. We really are. That's interesting. That was, I don't know, that was a 1,200 at one time. Then I saw 700. Now it's a 16. Wow. Okay. So we need to sell more things. And that's, it should happen naturally now. We, we're not going to be able to afford to buy any more things. So our traders, though many of our traders might well be at war. Yeah. I wonder, we're peddling, but I wonder if we are doing any trading uh, people. Because I'm thinking it's only the guys that get on the horse and ride away. Uh, some of the ladies will, will do it by foot. People, I bet you trading kind of grinds to a halt right now. Interesting. You are, pantry is full still, that's fine. Um, I, so that's just going to have to wait till it gets constructed. You're in the highest category. Okay, so we'll wait and come back to you guys. So trading is no longer a thing. Do I shut down the tavern until we get back? That seems like it'd be a wise thing. We're not going to be doing any upgrading for a long time. Okay. So over in here, we probably are the same looking for these guys right here. And they're not, not, no one's moved into them yet. Okay. So you are fine. This looks like Samwise getting into position. Great. So these guys, one or the other, are ready to take off and go after the, uh, the archers wherever they come in. These guys are ready to start taking out their incoming troops. I'm, I'm going to guess they're coming from here. And you know, softening up from a distance and then running in. Something like that. I wonder if the game calculates the trees as cover. If I were to do that and that, will they shoot into the trees and take them out as they come forward? Don't know. But this does seem to be responding normally again. Good. So with that, I think we're ready. And you know, I think I'm going to save this time. If I had saved last time, I wouldn't have had to redo all this. So hold on. Okay, well, we're about as ready as we're going to get. Though Gimli needs to bury some bodies over there. But they will take care of that. Alright, so pulling out. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. That's everyone. Alright. You, no, close. We're not doing that again. We're simply going to claim with influence your region so no declaring enemy no letting the game decide where which province that represents and yeah okay so we have sent off a letter no we haven't we're just claiming word is slowly work making its way over to to uh, the baron who's going to get word he's going to blow his top he's going to send us a nasty little note and and say uh-uh <laughs> and it begins so over here requirements pantry any messages over here that's worrisome am i there i am there gandalf and we do have generic storage but it's these guys with logs okay and the gauntlet has been thrown battle for battle for Selvitz has begun and here we go but he's willing for 200 silver. We can say, eh, never mind. Nah. Right back? Sure. Right back, and we will say, my claims are non negotiable. <laughs> All right. 
pause, unpause, we're up and running. So you guys are who is coming in toward us. You got your orders. You are pulled back a little further. We've got light mercs, uh, soldiers, light mercs. We've got archers, light mercs. We've got his retinue and more... Nope, his brigands. So he's got these guys and he's hired these mercs. Okay. So they're on their way in. Waiting to see which direction the archers break off. You guys are going to... You are set for run and set for run. And I kind of want to keep you guys together. We don't need to hit them from two different directions this time. And there's a save. Very... Very good timing on that. Um, my status is winning. The battle begins, so he must have uh, sighted us. And we're no longer winning. Okay. <laughs> that was short-lived. And he's on his way. So waiting for these first arrows to launch. And then we will lure everyone in right into here with the archers. And we'll see which way these archers move. We are starting to split off. So the archers have... I think they've chosen... I do this now I think it'll pop an arrow or a line over when they've chosen but you have chosen your positions you want to be spread all the way out so you get the most uh, the most run the most uh, range should we be doing that yeah I don't think so it's it's a matter of a few feet difference so everyone's still going pretty much the same direction though you do have a little different angle. You're heading off over here. I think you're... Well, you're actually heading right at us. The others are all heading for here. That's what it is. They're heading for the closest, and you are targeting somebody in this mess. Okay. So, battle in progress. Ah, so it's it's pushing the battle zone into there. We'll see if it, if it pulls back. We'll see how that goes. Because I wanted to be further up over here. I wonder if I had positioned my people over here, if it would have put it in the middle. I wonder if that influenced it. I don't know. Alright, any sense of what's happening here? Not really. They're all still pretty much going to the same place. They are. Okay, so we should have arrows launching right about now. Any... Oh, there's one. You guys are actually aiming at these. Interesting. So let's set you guys for missile alert. Okay, we'll do that. And so they're targeting them. So if they are targeting them, I could send them soon out and around. But if I do it too soon, I have a feeling they're going to pick them as their target and they're going to come after them too. And I can't dedicate them just to go after archers. So that's probably not a thing. But I need to realize that. Let me pull a little back a little further. When we can reach them, they can reach us. They may stop moving at that point. But we are launching. Okay. We're launching. They are moving sideways. Are they stopping? They're stopping. All right. So they're already about to launch. Let's get you guys back. So we keep luring those archers in. And let's lure them off to a side. You guys go here. You guys go there, and they take forever to be able to... Are you the problem? You're the lone one that's skewing this, aren't you? These guys take forever to accept the command and start backing off. So it probably has to do with where they are in their, their draw. You know, whether to fire or not. But I want to get them out early. So let's... Actually, I want to send them kind of in this direction. So you guys go over here. Get you moving. Everybody actually moving? They're thinking about it. Arrows are coming in. Okay, so they shot at them. Where are these guys at? No, they're still shooting here. Okay. And now they're pulling back and repositioning, rethinking their plans. Interesting. You guys come and get your new positions here. I want these guys who are going to be tracking them. So I want them going this direction. Just like that. And though if I spread you out, maybe there's less chance that their arrows can hit anyone. That's possible, since you are actually being hunted. You guys just get everybody moving toward our main body. Over here. 
You guys are going to go and help them, but I don't want to launch you too soon. And you guys can come around and, and hit the other side. So what are you guys actually doing now? You're moving forward again. And direction, coming in straight. And you're going off to a side. And they're running now. So these guys are all chasing the, uh, the archers, I'll bet. Let's see, can I get a sense? It's only you? You, you don't have a target anymore. Okay. So it's only you. You guys are ready to fire. You're still getting in position. Are you not running? You are running. But so are they. Okay. I don't see this happening. So you guys come on back and lure them into here like so. And keep that going. You guys, I guess the same sort of thing. Head into here. Keep them coming. Um, actually, if they're chasing you, then I better get you back over here, too. So you guys do that. Run into there. And that'll draw them this direction as well. Okay. So it's just these guys who don't really know what they're doing. But these dis just stopped and re-aimed and re-aimed. They're all heading for the main body now. Great. So that's kind of luring them in the direction I wanted them to. What do we do here? You guys, maybe kind of a crisscross. Something like that? I can see that. Kind of lure them into the V. Maybe. You guys are heading off to a side. Alright, so... Hmm. Let's see. You guys stay. I want you to go after those archers. You're kind of going to defend the archers, aren't you? You kind of looks that way. You're coming in from the side like that. You guys are going to get right behind them and fire at will yeah these guys kind of in out, up the hill a little bit let's see if you can fire over the top in fact that might be a thing let's do that with both of you uh actually up here let's do that you guys get up the hill and fire over the top of everyone okay so it's these guys i'm trying to figure out you are now targeting i saw that there you are. You're still targeting these guys, right? No, you're targeting them. Okay, good. You're targeting them. Then in that case, maybe you guys are going to be arrow hunters. Let's do that. So you're going to go over here. Let's get you moving. Kind of around the body. You guys are going to just come in and probably take them out. It's probably just a straight on 36 to 18. You're going to do that. These guys are clearly coming into here now. Arrows are going to get in position. They should be able to fire already. Are they doing it? They are. Great. They can fire over the top. Perfect. At least they can until they're all lined up with them. Then I'm going to have to bring them around. Okay, so you guys are definitely coming this way. You're going to take them out. You are still aiming for here. So you guys, can I... I can. I tell you just to do that. Now if I do this click doesn't work so it's only right click is it you guys just left click them i don't have to redraw their position theoretically that's what i've been told we'll see how that works you guys are aiming for them and i don't know that i dared yeah let's take you out over here first in case these guys switch off and go after them but we're coming in and these arrows are firing this direction, so I need you guys to be on missile alert. They're actually aiming at you. These guys are ready to go. Can I get a sense of where these incoming arrows are hitting? These arrows are launching that way. It's fire. Well, here they come. And they're definitely going after them. So they're missile alert. These guys are not going to get to them. And they are protected from them. All right. You guys, it's kind of fun. You guys take them out. Just do it. And I want to make sure that you're responding. You're going straight at them. You guys, again, are right in there. And that kind of works. I just saw the earthquake. So we just made contact. And with that, let's get you guys right into the middle of this let's take you something like well I hate to get you inside there hmm I guess you're gonna back up here 
like that. A little further. Get you kind of like that, right in with these guys. I want you to do that also, but you're a target. So if I send you into here, what's to stop all those arrows from taking out these guys accidentally? Boy, that's tough. Though if I can get you in here, they could also equally take them out too. Let's just do it. You guys are going to kind of dive in like so. And just kind of assist them. Let's get you a little bit deeper in there. Okay, so everyone has their orders. Let's get moving. These guys are going to fire arrows until they can't fire arrows anymore. You guys need to be over here now. Fire in from the side. A little bit deeper. Get you right in like that. You guys are now going to be coming in like this. Like this. Shooting from the side. Like that. You're still on your way to take them out. Is that true? You're still doing it. Let's set you at a run. Because these guys will keep backing off and backing off. I noticed that when half Brit Britt was fighting them and he had to chase them clear across the map. You guys, dare I set you at a run. Your effectiveness is 115. Theirs is 80. Let's do it. Let's get them in there. Let's just see that happen. Did I turn the other one off? Samwise pull arms? I bet you I didn't. Yeah, I, I exhausted you. Darn. Okay. I forgot to turn you off. Alright, they are attacking now. You guys don't need to run anymore. And are you still attacking the same group? You are. Okay. So I only need missile alert on one group at the moment. And send you in. Boy. Sounds like... Oh, it is. It sounded like a rainstorm with all the, the fighting, but it was a rainstorm. Um, pull out of this so I don't accidentally misclick. I'm going to kind of get in here and look. A lot going on there. These guys are getting into position. Where, where are my archers? Are they running through? Pull back. Archers, right there. They're trying to run through. Guys, okay, let's, let's try this again. Right there. You can't do it, can you? Okay, fine. You're going to go hold the control here around to there. Whew. Yeah, I, okay. <laughs> Some of them you just got to you just got to do that. You guys are showing over there when in fact you're over here, so I'm not going to touch you. Okay. What are you guys doing? You guys are fighting them directly. 36 to 18. We're still full forces against each other. And is there any way to better position ourselves here um we could just kind of do that and maybe they'll kind of surround them back over here you guys are still on your way in you're at a run and i want you actually narrow just like that less of a profile and can i shorten you up just a tiny bit more just two wide three wide and attack them at a run Okay, look at that. Tightening in. Perfect. And they're fleeing. They are fleeing. Okay. So it's just a matter of who exhausts the other one first. That's where the battle is going to be. Yeah. Completed. Where's the battle zone? Oh, it, it moved to us. Okay, we're not... I was told that very first battle we had over here, because I fought it here, or I guess it was here, when the game wanted it fought over here, that that's why the countdown never went down or continued to count down afterward we hadn't actually won the battle because it requires the battle be right in there but we are primarily right in there now so i guess the battle must follow their troops or something so before i turn it back on what's actually happening here we archers let's look this way so spear militia gandalf still full um full force Gandalf's retinue is down to 21. They're they're in the brunt of this. They are this group. Pull arms in this area is right there. 36 to 36 still. Even with the arrows raining down on them. Okay. Let's see if we can push you guys in just a little bit further. If we were to push you forward. Let's do that. You guys push forward. Okay. Now over here, who... Let's just work our way through this way. So, Samwise Spear Militia is still full force. You're the ones making the run. You're over here, and you're doing great. Stand your ground. 
and you will win this one. Probably won't lose a single person. That's like going after a bandit camp over there. That's that's not a not a big thing. So you guys are the pull arms from Gandalf. You're in this area. You're pushing forward. Okay, and you're no longer. Now you're balanced. Actually, yes. Now you're balanced. Do we have we have both of you over here? Oh. Okay, so you guys are push forward. You guys actually need to help over here with Gandalf's or Gimli's rev uh, retinue, which is also hurting at 21. Okay, so can I get you guys to move over here and help them out? Is that possible? Um, enemy over here is like that. It is these guys. They're running that whole run there. So which one did I just do? It was push forward. It was the other one right there. Let's send you guys from here to here. And you will be stand your ground. And just kind of get in there. In fact, I could tell you to push forward, but you might lose troops if you do that. They broke. Okay. And that's it. Bad guys. Right there. That's it. Okay, then you guys get into here and push forward. And you guys get into here and push forward. And you guys push forward into there. All of that shoving forward ought to scare them. Now, what else is happening? You guys are over here. They are still 18. And what, 35? 35. They haven't? Wow. They're stronger than I give them credit. Okay. They are just clubs and swords. They don't even have shields. Interesting. We are balanced. We should be... We should be stronger than that. That's interesting. Um, let's look at this another way. That's you guys. So corpses are near recent losses, but army power balance plus 75. Uh, fatigue is only, I can't see it, it's in red. 15? 15. Okay. Um, 85 and 81. We're still in good shape there. Okay. So you guys are chasing them down. And did they just re-target? No, they didn't. But because we have such a small profile, I bet you they feel like they can do it. So let's, in that case, spread out and take them. Like that. Off run and stand your ground. Spread out and take them. Okay. I want to see that, but I want to know what happened here. These guys just ran for it. Okay, so is that the end? No, it's still you guys. And I need to give them a hand. So who... Archers, position yourselves over... Actually, just like right there, real quick. You guys go right over there. Fire in as you can. And you're not friendly fire. Which isn't a thing. There used to be an option to just fire into the crowd no matter what and, and friendly fire but apparently that's that option is not there right now that's you guys who else can get there quickly um who is the least fatigue you guys fatigue wise uh 27 and you guys are the slowest so you guys fatigue wise 30 something so you at a run head in and take them out get in there and help so you're doing that, and we're watching this. And they're heading in, numbers. They still 36, 36. We are, we should be a lot more powerful. Click on you, and plus 42 power balance. Our fatigue is 14. They are at 1% effectiveness. This shouldn't last long at all. And the other one that's happening is over here. And numbers, what? There we go. Broken. That is done, so it just comes down to you guys left. 
And with all that I went through to get our retinues all maxed out, we they're the ones that took the most loss, aren't they? 21s, there's one gone there, one gone there. Lost four here and lost three there. And they were the best outfitted. Interesting. So we now own Silbets. Okay, peace declared. And it is over. So with that, I need to get all of these guys on their way home again. Let's just kind of analyze this one more time. Let this run slowly. I need to get them back before the harvest season. But lost three. Lost three. Lost one. Lost two. Lightning. Any region has been claimed. Enemy is spotted. That means what? I guess that means they were still on the map. Okay. Uh, region ownership changed. Okay. And pantry is full. So no food stalls have burnt down in the making of this battle yet. Okay. That's good to see. All right. Anyway, so finishing this up, we lost four of Gimli's retinue. We need to get that one fixed up. But I guess everybody can just go home. So fastest way to do that, I can go ahead and run you guys, especially you. Run you into here and you're done. Now, all of these Samwise, so you, you, and you? Yeah. I can't, I don't have the flexibility. I can't turn these on and off when that happens. Interesting. Yeah, I've got to just do you manually. You, you, and Samwise right there. You. So that one, that one, that one. You guys now run to here. Great. And am I running? No, let's get going. And who's left? I want you. Run. Run. And that one. No. That's Gandalf. Are you already moving? No. Okay, you were already at a run. Okay, and there's some arrows here somewhere. Right there, Gandalf. Yeah, you're at a run. So you, 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 and you. All of you guys head into closest point. Yeah, it's somewhere over here. Actually, you, okay, you guys are just scattered all over the place. So, doesn't work that way as easily. Okay, you're not moving at all anyway. So, let's get you over here. And Gandalf there. And... Samwise, you're there, and you are there. Great. Everybody else is on their way. All of the little walkie symbols are there, so everybody's moving. And it's happening. We now have a new province, and we need to, I guess, get ready for the harvest over here. Uh, get that off my screen. Thank you. Where am I? I am Gandalf, and it is really storming out there. We're in July now. So berries are basically done. What we got is what we got. Down to our last 21. One family can easily do that. Pantry of 21, pantry of 12. So you guys go away. And there's another one here. Pantry of 4, you can go away. And you can pretty much go away too. So we've got 8 available now for whatever. Over here, we have lots of animals and we don't know where those animals are. So Hunter is going to... Nobody's hunting because they're all at war. Okay, so that's not necessarily a thing. There is a deer. Yeah. And another? No, last time we only saw one deer too. Oh, there's two. Oh, yeah, they are. They're represented here, but it's still not 40. Or whatever the number is. So they're nearby, but I don't know if that's truly correct. 20, okay. So you're there. Um, so Samwise, again, 53 left, but we're not going to grow anymore. So what we have, we have, and you can easily finish by November. So you can be the one that's doing the job. You can go away. This is the pantry that still has some room. And you did build great large granary. And I could leave you there to help unload as you're bringing all this in. That'd be fine. Um, Gimli, how are you doing? Okay, citizens joined. Um, you're fine as well. How do we do? Not as many as I would have expected, though we have been running the dice shop the whole time. So maybe it takes it down that fast. You have eight. You have 14. 
you are not there so let's shut you down one family can finish off these 20 and you truly aren't needed either so take you out and the dice shop can just steal those berries and turn them into whatever okay so that's all up and running um we need to turn back on the i think the tavern let's see here it was these guys i was questioning can we do it now Oh, we still have booze. Okay, grab... Where's the upgrade? Level 3? And you? We still need logs. Okay, logs are still a thing that we're limping along on. Too bad logs cannot move through the trading system. It'd be nice to have one powerhouse of a logging community distributing logs on log carts pulled by oxen. And that was quite the... Yeah, fire broke out. Rubbled. Completely rubbled already. What rubbled? I mean, there is absolutely no chance of fixing it. Rubble. Rebuild the hunting camp. This is the one hunting camp that's actually working, too. Yep, yeah, let's get you rebuilt. Okay, there's no materials involved on hunting camps, so it's just a matter of getting a body over there to do that. The deer were piling... Am I... Where am I? That is Gandalf, over here. The deer were piling into here, but we now own this province. And I noticed that that uh, in Halfwit Brit's episode today, his deer are also jumping border lines, and they're, they're in another province too. But he then moved his... You guys are all ready. Let's get you disbanded. He moved his hunting grounds one more time. Did I hit the wrong thing? I did. And I can't disband you here, no. And they all started to walk back. We've already moved ours two or three times. The settlement increased Samwise. Okay, good. We moved ours from here to here to here. And they never faltered once, their location. We could try one more time. Now, we are logging in this area in case it goes back over here. Let's try it one more time and just see what happens. Now that we, we've changed the rules a little bit by grabbing that province. Um, you, let's see, let's put any kind of a building. Turn this off before I misclick something. Um, any kind of a building into this area. I want to put it over here and see if I can push them that way if that is a thing. Right there. You're gone. You go away. And that repositioned them to here, which would be great if they would stay. So let's not let our loggers mess that up. I'm pretty sure I told you guys to start taking that out. People, and yeah, you're kind of... Oh, you were in the military. Okay, so you guys can now start logging, oh, just somewhere nearby. And we'll, we'll have to fill this in soon with, uh, with foresters. But you're over here now. So the question is, will these guys finally start migrating back to a new location? He, he just noticed. Nobody else did. And are there going to be any more deer falling out of the sky? I saw that last time, kind of through the corner of my eye. I went back and looked at it while I edited. Hey, hey, they're moving. Uh, while I was editing, but there were only like two frames that dropped so fast. It's like what well, it looked just like an arrow shooting across there. What was that? Uh, it was an arrow going across there. But these guys are on their way back, and they, they got it too. We may have just fixed that one. Of course, it, it took watching someone else accidentally do it to uh, confirm, because it didn't work for us. We This is our third time moving that, and only this time have they responded. Okay, so Samwise just got another point. And where are we at with points in Samwise? One, two, three, four... This is our fifth point. Sam Wise is agriculture. We're not going to get into fertilization. I'm told there are problems with irrigation, and we're still in the same build as when I was told there were problems with irrigation. We don't need rye. So that leaves bakeries, which is probably where we're going. But is there any other reason? This is for getting better deals for buying from outside of our provinces, and we don't have much to buy. We really don't. So that's probably not a thing. 
and we're broke anyway. We were also kicking around the idea of exploring advanced beekeeping just so we can see the process, see how it works. I've never done the, the candle making and what have you. We don't have any metals over here, so that's not a thing. So I would say it's there or there. And with all of the wheat that came in and is going to come in, it would be wise to just get started here right now. So let's do that for here. Where am I at? I am at 40 some minutes. Okay, wow. That was quite the flash. We didn't just do another, did we? Uh, new development point and wild animals have migrated. Let's go see that. Okay, we forced the migration. Are they still? No, they just went across the river. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, they, yeah. Hunting is, has become real. Let's, let's word it that way. In real life, the deer don't stay in one little area. They go wherever they need to go. So until, well, until this updates, which it's not going to before this series is over, we're just going to have to concentrate a lot more on hunting. And the more people that go out there to chase them down, the greater the odds that we're going to actually bring some back. Yeah. Okay. So that's how hunting works now. Um, that's kind of the closest area. Though these aren't that much different. They're not really. And you had something going on. There's two unfinished things. So these are carcasses that are rotting somewhere that need to be hauled in. So I'd say let's get two more going in there. So we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go that route. All right, so we got the point over here. Let's get that point used. You guys have all been used as, now what are you? You're just a burgage plot. But these guys, brewery, joiner, tailor. I was going to use these guys as other artisans but we could do now these are all farms there's another save and they're going to be preoccupied trying to do all their things so that's not going to happen so i think it is you and you guys i didn't upset any backyards up okay so you're the one closest to the mill mills over here so it makes sense that you are a baker and it may be that we want two of them but let's go ahead and get you going. What was that noise? It sounded like someone going sniffing fresh baked bread. Mmm. And do we want you? Probably not. Now, can you? You? I don't think you can be a second house, which means we probably want two bakeries. But let's look at that. So wheat has all been processed, and a whole bunch of flour. You're going to be the breadbasket of the of the area. So yeah, two bakers go in. Yeah, that's that was a strange noise. So two of you are going to go in. You're going to may, may, maybe all four of these for all I know, long term. We have a lot of wheat coming in. Uh, where's a good... All of this is wheat right in there. Some more. Although, yeah, that is wheat. All that's wheat. All that's wheat. That's the barley. And move over... That is the flax and a little more over here. Flax over there. Okay. There's a lot coming in. And we could use, and we have the ability to do it, we could use some more citizens before that actually happens. Um, empty lots are, well, the ones we're waiting for, which are, pull out a little bit here. Still that one. And still that one. And are there any empties over here? All the ones that we updated are there's empties here too. Are going to need more uh, more people to fill them in. So there's there's room. I don't need to build any more houses over here to get the number up to be able to handle more farmers because we even have four farms now. So let's get you. That's right. Get you going and get you to the highest priority. Okay. So you can handle more oxen and let's get some more oxen in here while there's still time. So, move around you. I always have a hard time finding you. Trade uh, oxen eight. Let's bring in 12 from the outside at 20 apiece. Yeah, let's do that. So, pull up for coming in and 
click away. Is there anything else I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah, I'm supposed to be a lot of things I'm supposed to be doing. Get you guys disbanded and disbanded and disbanded. And there's Gimli right over here and disband. And is that everyone? It, it, nope, you guys just made it. Okay, you guys disband. Perfect. And let's see here. This is our new town, our new region. And you're going to be concentrating on iron, which if we follow our original pattern, I don't know of any other dwarven names. I guess we can head to the Hobbit to find it. <laughs> There's several good dwarven names over there. Um, yeah, we could have used the elves instead for the name for here for actually making all of the armor and the weapons. That would have been a thing, but at the time it wasn't thought of. Oh well, need to come up with a name for this one. We're not going to do much over here. Bare bones um, settlement in order to start extracting ore and sending it across the way. Ore sitting over here is at 1,000. So if we can get it coming soon enough, we could get this shut down or slowed down so we never actually run out. And then we can put our next point into plate armor instead of that. And then the next point will be this one, hopefully before that hits zero. So now I don't know if there is an advantage to doing this at a higher number than a lower number. I'm not sure. Um, where are we at, by the way? We're at, well, we're, we're just barely holding it. Okay. So in that case, hmm, what else can we do? We can get this one working more heavily like that. It leaves only one um, so that we get more iron ore over here enough to overwhelm our minimums um, here and iron ore of 100 and then eventually start shipping out or we could actually set you more to 50 then we can start shipping them out that much sooner to Gimli and plate armor 27 plate armor arrived okay and we're we still have a thousand over here we are probably going to start needing some some influx into here. We're no longer grabbing cheap bandit camps. So we need to think about doing that. I was really enjoying the extra peoples coming in. But yeah, we're all on our own now. We've got to make this, make this work. So you're there. And do I do that here too? And Gimli, I was really wanting more families. Boom. Speaking of, yeah, we, we just lost a whole bunch. Okay, Gimli, it's time for you to start pulling your, your fair share, too. You're up there. And tithing, I don't think that needs to be a thing right now. Let's. I'm worried that the numbers we have been bringing in are going to cut our food supply down. So let's do that in both of these. Have I already done it here? You taxes now. Let's take you down. So no more sending food away. We just don't need the influence anymore. Um, one last look at our deer over here. If I'm in the right place. Where am I? Pull out Gandalf. You're over here. So the deer are still here. So moving it didn't do any good. It just... It got all their attention for a moment. And they said, ha ha ha, you're funny. And that was it. Not walking over there. There's hunters over there. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so I am basically there. Is there anything else I need to do to kind of clean up before I assume it's going to be a harvest episode next? And once that's done, we'll decide if we're going to clean up this little mess and get this, this province going. That's probably the next target. I think so. Um, sheep over here. We Let's see. Let's, let's look at it this way. Uh, 10 sheep and 22 lambs. I said bring it down to 10, and it did. And none of these lambs are growing. So I don't think they're maturing. I really don't. I don't get the sense we've ever matured any. So let's set this up a little bit differently. We're going to bring in sheep until we've got 40 again. So right there, 40. That didn't work. And that didn't work. 
Okay, it is so hard to click inside of that little field. And we're going to take you down... I guess I have to say export. Okay, export to you. And... Zero? Is there a point? I think they're just a revenue source now. And to the outside and from the outside. Okay. Um, we could... We did get our horses in. So you're there. I need you down to six. Not sixty. Six. And let's bring you up to ten. And from the outside. Okay, so we can send two horses away. And that away means I want you guys up to trade horses i want you at six and now we're going to get one from within our own borders okay so one's coming and over here horses um you go away you you trade we have no family in here horses i want six over here and not 60 so six and one of them should have arrived on its own i had okay am i done here they're happening. We need one family in there. Trade. Everything else seems right. I think it does. 36 is enough over here. Lambs. Yeah, everything else I think is fine. Okay. So, I told one of these to go get us another horse. And apparently it didn't happen. So, I'll just bring you in that way. One's coming in there. One's coming from Gandalf. Same thing's happening over here. And we should have horses in all of the traders soon. Let's just verify that. Uh, advanced, asking for two. Advanced, asking for two. And click away right there. Advanced. Okay, so they're all here and there's two extra somewhere. And over here, the new trading post is you. Trade, advanced, asking for there we go and trading post advanced we have two and this one long since had two of them also right advanced yeah okay Samwise same thing so over here you or did I already do that no I think I already did that okay well, let's just verify all of them you and there click and advance yeah so that's all done now, well, in two months, I'm going to need to have all the oxen put into the farms. Did you get upgraded? You're thinking really hard about it. All right. Um, so with that, where are we at? Berries are done. Berries are done. One family can come out of there. We now have two to build whatever is being built. There you are. You're fine. Berries over in Samwise are not even close to done. But we have till November to finish it. I believe. Harvest. Yeah, the very one of those first few episodes surprised me. Harvest was done in, at the end of September, but there were still berries out there and they were still collecting them. So they can continue to work nice and slow, taking their time, and they'll fill that up. You guys are there. I've got only four extras, and they're doing a lot of building, so I'm going to let them build. Uh, logs. We were hurting on logs. We've got some in. Can I set one more to build upgrade right there? And I have booze still. So I guess I didn't turn the booze off. Okay. And any chance... Um, you? No, still zero. Okay. And you're not a thing. Okay. And let's just verify over here. Kind of the last ditch things to do. You're done. It's you too. And you still have nobody living in there. And in Gimli, pull in, turn you off. Zero, zero, zero. And you, zero. Okay. These are all threes. And you are what? We need five more. So one two, three, four. We need a fifth tier three to get to that next point, Standing which wrong, will set. be plate armor. So I guess I just need to pick someone and just do it. Although I don't have any booze over here. No. And it was booze. It was planks. We have no planks over here. We've turned them off because we were desperate for, for labor. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have, oh boy, we have lots of timber. Okay, so you guys, we'll turn you both on until you fill up your uh, 
your storages and then uh, and we'll shut you down again so that will continue building the I guess the wooden parts or whatever we're building over here sucked all that dry okay well that was a good battle it was successful we now are a region of five provinces one two three four five and if we want to work on these names this is a mining oriented one this one animals but maybe this is an elven name and this is a a um, dwarven name that's possible don't know what's going to happen over here whoever's the king of the berries <laughs> anyway i'm going to call this one done thanks for watching folks and i'll catch you next time bye bye now